Okay, we're talking about buying back time. And I think that's like really our overall like theme to not your Pinterest mom is how to buy back your time. Now that looks very different for every person. Yes. And you've got two of us here that do things very differently from each other. Gina and I do not, even though we're both planning strategists, we both plan, we're both planning for project managers. It's 100% different. Like I'm we like, do things yeah, very, very, very different. Um, yeah. You all haven't seen my office yet, but the other wall of my office, I have five whiteboards because that's how my brain works. And Gina's like, that's a little excessive, Danielle. I'm like, but I want another one. Yeah, like she's got a collection, going, but I really do like the one that's rose gold and marble, though. That one's really cool. I like one of those. <laughs> but like beyond that, like I have one whiteboard in my office and she gave it to me. <laughs> because I couldn't store it when I moved down here. So I had to go somewhere and be protected. And I work in her office sometimes. So yeah, she so she, like one of her chairs is at my office, too, because she needed to. And I, I kept that's the That's where it is. Oh, I forgot that's where that was. Yeah. Okay. Do you need it back? No. Okay. I just, we, it was a, just, there's been a discussion. We just moved, well, we just moved. We moved six months ago, but our, all of our stuff went from being in our house to being in storage for six months. So there yeah. are things that I'm missing and I just can't think of where they are. And now I know where one of them is. I've got stuff missing from my move from where it lived on a U-Haul for a week and disappeared. Yeah. I have a few things that have just disappeared. The mystery, if you understand where the mystery thing, your mystery things are after you move, please let me know yeah, because me know I've too. got things to find still. I have a very expensive yoga mat that I really need to put my hands on and like, I can't find it. And I'm really not. I have a professional set of measuring spoons and measuring cups, uh, stainless steel, like really heavy, really nice ones. And I'm measuring, um, an ice cream scoop and my meat thermometers and I can't find them anywhere. Anyway, so our our theme here really is buying back your time and yes. how we buy back time. Again, you've got two very, very different perspectives. And part of, so there are parts of buying back time. There, how to make money. That's buying back your time. Yeah. Knowing how to make and diversify where your money comes from. Whether you have a full-time job and you work for somebody else or a part-time job and you work for somebody else or you run your own business, even no matter what it is, diversifying where your money comes from. And there are so many ways to do that. Yeah, we have very strong opinions on having multiple streams of income. And that's something that we're going to talk about um, later on, okay. but you know, not, not in this particular setting, but it's something that we will talk about because we, like I said, we have strong opinions on it and, and we'll it, tell, tell you our reasons why. And some of them are super simple. Like I yeah. use an app called Fetch and I use my target uh, credit card for everything because I earn points so that once a year I get a gift card. Yeah. So, I mean, there are lots of ways that you can diversify where your yeah. money's coming rewards, from but yeah. but without actually having to do exactly anything. rewards points are the bomb. The huge they're, thing. they're huge. And we'll talk, we'll talk about that. So self care is a huge, huge, huge part of buying back your time. Moms, women, wives, even if you're single and, and are working and supporting yourself, or especially if you're a single parent, Having self-care practices. Which is something else that we're going to talk about because the there are self-care practices like the cliche ones. Going getting your nails, nails done, done, getting your hair done, the bath, all of that. Okay, cool. But the, what Danielle and I do, this is a form of self-care that nobody talks about. And we're going to actually go into that in a later video on why planning and organization and budgeting and having a clean space is a form of and good 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 food good food is a form of self care that is actually not mainstream. We continue to be rebels even when it makes sense. Yes, exactly. But planning strategies. I mean, I plan meals and planning your day and knowing where your time is going and making sure that you've got good work life balance. Gina is the man household management and budget management queen. So between the two of us, you're going to get very different ways of managing and, and having a home, whether it's an apartment, a trailer, a paper box on the corner. It doesn't van, matter. Van life's becoming a thing. Van, van life like, is becoming know, a thing. Our, you know, uh, but there are planning yeah. strategies that go behind no matter what your physical living lifestyle is. Yeah. And, and I want, I want something to be very, very clear. Um, Gina and I have been very blessed in our lives. Our yes. husbands have good jobs. We make good money. Yes. And both of us live, I, I'm literally living in my dream house. I came from a 1500 square foot 
Cape Cod in New York, uh, an acre of land that was 40 or 50 years old, something like that, and had constant issues because it was an older home and ugly. Well, it wasn't ugly once I moved, but it was ugly when I moved in. I could tell you horror stories. And Gina was living in a, sm a much smaller Very house. Small and we've house. both been yep. able to move into really beautiful homes recently. But just because we live in beautiful homes doesn't mean that's where we came from. Exactly. Um, you know, like our both of our backstories, neither one of it. We're not for money. Oh, we're both absolutely from, not for money. Yeah, I'm from your run-of-the-mill, middle-class, um, southern family. My husband is from extremely humble beginnings. So we have been ex extremely blessed in our lives and our son is going to have a totally different experience Absolutely. growing up, but it came from hard work and a lot of the planning and stuff that we're going to talk about. Like at, at it, 15, I was homeless. When I say yeah. homeless, I didn't live in my parents' basement. No, I didn't live on my friend's car. couch. I, I didn't own a car. I was 15. I was literally homeless. So and I had a teacher from school that took me in. So I was yeah. very blessed in that, but I literally came and had zero. When I left, when I walked out of my house, I had clothes on my back. Yes. So when when we tell you, you could buy back your time and you can afford to grow and get out of debt you and can you can it. afford to eat well, you can actually and you do can that. And we tell you that because we have done yeah, it. And, we, and it, we, you can have an extremely nice quality of life on a shoestring budget. And I can tell you that with certainty because that's how I've been living the last several years. So there is no reason in this, it, and what it comes to, and this is something else that we'll talk about. And this is um, also a form of self-care that we will go into is comparison um, and how to get out of that trap because that's what will cause discontentment. So it's finding contentment and where you're at, where but you always are. knowing that there is something better around the corner because when you are a good steward of little, you will see increase. It won't be overnight. And you know, an increase yeah. doesn't mean that you go from making $30,000 a to year 100, to $100,000, know, which some people well, do that, which is cool, great, but I don't, I don't even get that. So I own my own business and I hate that. I live, I want to have a six figure business. I don't care. I want to cover my bills. I, I, I joke that I want my Verizon bill to come and me not to even notice that it was taken out of my checking account. I'm the same way though. <laughs> so, uh, see me and I'm of the type where I want to owe nobody anything. I don't like loans. I don't like payments. I don't like that. And you will hear me rant and rave about that all the time <laughs> until they go away. I just want my cell phone, my family cell phone bill to not give me a heart attack every month when it yeah. comes. I mean, that's or the gas bill, which got us recently. Um, you know, just things like that, you know, that that's where we want to get is, and, and we're not just, talking to, we don't want, I don't care about having a million dollars. I just don't. And yeah. like I live and now I'm, I'm, we're going to be very open with you in all of our yeah, videos. We are. I live in a $300,000 house and I am very blessed, but that also means I have to freaking live on a budget. Like I have a grocery budget every week. I have a spent like free spend budget. I have budgets for everything because I live in a house that I have to pay for and my mortgage is double what it used to be. But it's because we find value in um planning. Plan well planning, but then also like my my house um was two hundred and sixty thousand and it's also just because of the area that we're in. But we wanted to live in a nice neighborhood and we wanted, there were things that we needed within our home. We could have chosen to stay in the small house that we were in. Um, but we valued being able, being able to have, have been the school system that we were in, that we're in and also to be near family, um, and how we wanted to have our lifestyle be like within our home. Now we don't, we have a larger home for comfort, but we didn't need it. But we also, um, we spend a lot of time at home and we wanted to make sure wherever we were, it supported the lifestyle that we have when we are at home. Like I really desperately needed a man cave to put my husband in because football season is the bane of my existence and football season is religion here in the South. So I needed, I desperately, desperately needed somewhere to put him where he could watch football way away from me. 
and, and why, the, whether, yeah, and you know, and there's a whole lot of other reasons. These are our personal choices that we made mm -hmm. on how we wanted to live, but we recognize that we're lucky to be able to have that choice. So that's something but, that we do want to address. Absolutely. So I'm very blessed, but I'm blessed. And, and I make absolutely no bones about the fact I'm blessed because I've worked my butt. Well, Same. literally, I wish I worked my butt off, but I, I worked, worked for it. hard for this. My husband has worked very, very hard for this. And this is not something I have done on my own at all. Mm -hmm. And that's something that in the women's online mom, girl boss world, I will take credit for mine, but it's because I'm the budgeter. So <laughs> I am not the budgeter. In my I house. will take, I, I will take them. credit for it, but it's, was due to the way I managed our, our money. And, but my husband worked hard. Yes. And our husbands, and, and I never want to ever want to come across that my husband is not, like 50% of the reason why we are where we are. And he's my, also 50% of the reason I am where I am because too, he yeah. supports me in everything that I yeah. do. So we'll, we'll tell you our husband saved us. Yes. So we'll tell you that. Absolutely. Like, every time. Like, so with, like with like with a stretch, just like this, it's not a joke. They say this. And being able to be where we are is be we can talk about where you may be. And I'm going to be doing some teaching you how to cook. I'm $20 a week from Dollar General and the dollar store videos and things like that, because I've been there. I've done it. I don't just go out and make this stuff up. I've had to do it. Yeah, and I've really, had to support a family on Raymond noodles, hot dogs, and Kraft macaroni and cheese. It's possible. Yeah, and I'm going to show you how to live a really wonderful life on a shoestring because I've done it. You can do it. You, you can absolutely do it. So we talk about buying back your pot time. It comes into your budgeting, your planning, how to take care of yourself so that you can budget and plan and cook for your family and why that is that alone is part of your self-care yeah. so my dad it all comes it's, it's, it's my, a ronism my my dad my brothers called him big ron so and he has we have dubbed them big ronisms should make a coffee table book and um one of his isms is if you want more time you have to buy it now there that doesn't just mean money, money. It can also mean you're buying it back with your time. You can buy it like the time that you spend. It can t talk about, you know, how you're allocating things. You can buy back. You can invest your, your time and your efforts to give yourself time other places. Yes. So, and that's what it all comes back to is we're, what we're teaching you is teaching you how to buy back your time. And sometimes it won't even cost you a penny. And a lot of times it won't. And we're not going to fill you full of free, get this, because you can get this for free and that for free, but it takes you 9,000 hours. Yes. Gina is the queen of convenience. So yes. she's going to hire somebody else to bring her her groceries because she doesn't want to pay for, I hate paying for somebody to get my groceries for me. So I won't pay for that. But there are other things that I will spend a heck of a lot more money on. And Gina looks at me and goes, why would Why you spend money on that? And I'm like, because it buys back my time in this other place. So every person is going to have a little bit of a different. It looks different for everyone. And that's the beauty of it. So like we could not be more different in that aspect yes. of it. But that's what we're always going to talk about is we're giving you ex real life examples and hoping that you find inspiration and see the methods that we're using and take the methods and apply them to what works best for you you'll see gurus out out yes out you'll there. see eye rolls a lot yeah right here and we'll get into that one day um telling you that there is an exact certain 100 percent way that you should do it and if you're not following their plan you're doing it wrong and that's not true because there is no one size fits all there is no like okay so sorry but i'm gonna say it there is no bra out there that fits everybody the same like there isn't like there's still like everybody is still on the hunt for the perfect bra because there is no perfect bra. There is no perfect bra because there is no boob the same. So I and, mean, and, and as a <clears throat> heavily boob boob did did woman, I could buy a bra that might be the perfect bra this week, but after I wear it for two weeks, it's not the perfect bra so, anymore. So and that's the same thing with planning all of, all of the things that we'll be teaching. Uh, my routines, my planning routines have changed and routines, evolved. Yeah, mine too. I mean, mine right now, I'm having a hard time getting back on some of my routines after moving because my house is like a thousand square foot more than I've ever dealt with before. Yeah, it, and I have carpet everywhere, which is something I've never had this yeah, much carpet you had before. Yeah, you a bunch of hardwood in your other house. Yeah, so so it's 
life is yeah, complete. And I, I live in the so. South. It's a different world down here. It's a little... I've lived in an African jungle, and this is still a little more weird than that sometimes. And so, it hadn't even got hot here yet. You haven't seen all the critters. Yeah, I was here for July last year. So That's not indicative. They were starting to dissipate. Oh, you little critters. Well, I lived in an African jungle. I can survive. Um, I hope. You'll be fine. It's <laughs> you, just you, you might hear me complain. But yes, you yes, have yes. to be able to take the things that you know how to do, take the things you've learned how to do from somebody else and adapt them to you. And even me right now, Gina laughs at me a lot. I'm trying to learn how to adapt to living in the South, living in a different kind of house, cooking differently. I've had um, my gas stove. I, I bought a new gas cook stove and it's still not in. So I'm learning how to cook on electric, which I've, because that's not something in the North at she all. She hates it, I, I, by I, the way. I, I don't blame her. I prefer gas also. Yeah, yeah so I mean, everything about life has changed and that happens. But the methods remain the same of figuring it out and getting in a routine and getting yourself, the exactly. methods remain the same. And this week I was able to get some routines in place and I bought myself almost a whole entire day to just get to spend on my passion which is not your Pinterest mom this week yeah. so being able to find time for whatever your passion is whether that's sewing or crafting or, or more power or, to y'all that do that by the way or I, and I I have those passions and I haven't gotten to do them in 10 plus years because of work having bad work life balance so I'm putting those things in place to have good work life balance now and you guys get to work through that with me and see me evolve. And you're going to get to watch that. And Gina has a 10 month old. So she's learning how to evolve with every stage of his life, which is what different every week right now. Yeah, every day, it seems. And I'm extremely type A and very regimented. So I'm really going to have a hard time adjusting. And I have a 23 year old. My son lives with us and pays rent. He's not living scot free here. Um, and he's his fiance is going to be moving in with us. So I'm going to be introducing another for an adult into my house. So there's going to be some things that you guys really get to watch us and you get to watch us learn ourselves how to buy back our time in the season and journey that we are on right now. And we're going to go kicking and screaming, by the way. Oh yeah. I have a bad attitude. So she, so there's, there's bad attitudes to go around and we really want to be so real with all of you that you get to see those things. Yep. So much sass. All She's sass. Southern. So there's a lot of sass. I'm, North, I'm from New York, so there's a lot of sarcasm that goes with everything I do and a lot of eye rolls. And sometimes I roll my eyes out loud. I'm trying to learn to get better about that. Yeah, because down here, people get really offended. Manners are a thing. So, yeah. So those of you not from down here, I got hit on in a bar last night and it was the most polite thing I've ever seen. And I didn't know how me. to react to him. Wait, tell me, tell me, tell me. He, come, he wanted to dance with me and I'm like, oh, oh and I'm like, no, thank you. I don't dance with anybody because no, really, you're by yourself. You really should dance, honey. Yeah. And and and, and the honey thing kind of sets me on edge. It always sets me on edge. And I, I'm so, I'm sorry, my husband's right there. And he's like, Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. Would you like me to sit next to you so nobody else bothers you? And I was like, What, huh? I'm so used to just getting nasty with somebody in a bar. That is called chivalry. So, <laughs> so he was, he was trying super, to and he bought me a drink. He saw a woman alone and he was not he was trying to make sure that she was safe and some other creep wasn't going to come up on her. Now you can't get too comfortable because we do have creeps down here, but he approached with manners. I that's I'm from New York. That's not normal. So I, I was I, I, I looked and my husband noticed and he's like, What happened? And I'm like, explain to him, I'm like, I didn't know how to react. <laughs> So, you say thank you. I did. I think. I hope. I, I hope, hope I said thank you. He was very nice. But uh, see, but also down here, like it's offensive if a man doesn't open the door for you or pull out your chair. Yeah. So I, I'm learning to live a very different life. Or watch his mouth around you, also. Um, yeah, that's true. That's so weird. Okay. You'll notice so, you don't hear a whole lot of locker room talk. You don't. Now they'll swear, but you don't hear a whole lot of locker room talk. Yeah. This ladies is Danielle looking confused in New York. No. Well, just because you're making the connection, you hadn't noticed it until I just pointed it yeah. out. Huh. So come join us. Watch us buy back our time. Crazy conversations that end up on rabbit trails that had nothing to do with what we were talking we about. We both have ADHD. <laughs> Very much so. So come join us. I hope you guys really learn some great strategies to buy back yeah, your time. I do too. We genuinely want to help, especially with the way that the world is going. We really want to help. It's the a very genuine.
place. If, if you are homeschooling, remote schooling, working from home, working for the first from time, home while remote schooling, or bless y'all, because this wouldn't be trying to do it with just one that's not in school. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, if you're learning to do all of that and you really need to figure out, like I said, how to diversify where your money's coming from. We're really going to give you some solid tips. And no, I'm not going to sell you on selling Mary Kay or LuLaRoe or Mona or whatever else is out there. I am not. We have opinion. strong opinions about that, too. I have very strong opinion, opinions and, and not necessarily against direct sales because I buy from women that sell direct sales stuff all the time. I have no problem with that. But I also think that that's a very bad investment for your money to start. Um, I think it can be a really good companion once you're diversifying your money and doing some other things, but I don't think it's a great side hustle because it requires a lot of time and effort. So it's not a good side hustle for anybody, um, which we're going to go into um, when we start talking about how to make money online. Yeah. But so, we want to help, you know, just find the work-life balance and maybe even help you find a little extra cash in your budget. Cash in your budget and time for yourself. And I don't care if that time for yourself means you can go take a bubble bath or, or sit on the floor in your bathroom and watch TikToks and laugh your butt off for two hours. Buy yourself some time so you can have something enjoyable in your life. So I hope you join us. We look forward to talking to you. This is Danielle. I'm Gina. We'll talk to you later.